Season 5 starts off on November 27th. However, Black Armory doesn't release until December 4th. So there will be a week to check things out before going back on the grind. The Thunderlord quest is going away, and with that, the Cosmodrome. This weapon has a level 20 requirement, so giving it to an alternate character will boost its light level. This is the same as the Horror Story Auto Rifle. Add that with a Sorrow MG2, and you can have 500 plus light level weapons on a level 20 character. The reason the Horror Story and the Thunderlord you receive are level 20 is so that it is accessible to base game players who don't own DLC. This also unlocks a Bungie Store offer, the Thunderlord Long Sleeve T-Shirt, that apparently looks good under a blacklight. The whole quest takes under an hour, and you get the weapon around your character's current light level. There are tons of triumphs that will no longer be obtainable. They don't offer any points and have no technical value at this time. Basically, any triumph that says in Season 4, you only have until the 27th to complete. Some of these triumphs do unlock stuff from vendors, though. There are 6 triumphs in Gambit, 6 in Crucible, 2 Iron Banner, 1 Strikes, and 1 Nightfall. Volsus Reddit posts with this list will be in the description. The vendors offer curated rolls of weapons. Not really necessary to worry about if you haven't got them already. But if you're able to pick them up, make sure you do because they only cost a little glimmer. The vendors have unique emblems and shaders. I would recommend picking them up since they look to be exclusive to Season 4. Not to say the shaders won't make their way onto randomly dropped weapons in the future. If you want Lord Shax's seasonal loot, you need one Valor rank reset, all Crucible armor for all three classes, and kill 100 Guardians while wearing a full set of Crucible gear. For Vanguard, you need to reach Vanguard rank 25. This isn't the Nightfall rank. You need to turn in 500 tokens to get both of these. If you want the curated rolls, you need to work on your Nightfall rank and reach 1,400,000 overall points as a high score in Nightfalls. That's either 100k in 14 different Nightfalls, or 200k in 7 different Nightfalls, or any combination in between. For Gambit, you need to reset your rank twice, generate 1000 orbs, and revive 100 allies. Not too hard since we have double and triple Infamy this week. Nightfall, Valor, Glory, and Infamy ranks will be reset, so if you're close to a rank up, then finish it now. Pinnacle weapon quests and progress won't go away. But any steps that are related to your rank in a playlist might need to be redone. Hoard all of your bounties. For Gambit, you need to complete one Gambit match in the new season before turning your old bounties in. The rep for turning in Gambit bounties should be doubled. Complete and keep your Crucible, Clan, Vanguard, Spider, Petra, and Gambit bounties into the next season. That should help with Clan rank and the Petra and Ikora milestones. Don't worry about Scrapper Bounties, they don't count towards Ikora's Milestone. Bungie said that there will not be a clan level requirement for the Raid Bounties in the new season, so we won't have to worry about those. Use your Prismatic Facets if you can. If they expire like the previous season, you can dismantle them for Bright Dust. But if you dismantle them now, you get nothing. So wait until they turn into expired facets. That should give you 150 Bright Dust for each facet. That is if they are doing what they did for previous seasons. Season of the Forge begins on November 27th, and that's when a new Bright Engram comes out. So if you want to get a head start on the new cosmetics, make sure to have fire team medallions and stop doing your daily challenge milestones right now. If you let your daily challenges pile up, you can do them at the start of the season for around 7,000 bonus XP for each activity. So around 20,000 extra XP on every character with well rested and a fire team medallion. Also, bounties give you a little bit of XP, so hoarding those can give you a little edge, but they aren't worth much. Other things we might get to look at is the new vendor inventories and triumphs. With the start of the season, there should be new seasonal triumphs and vendor curated roles to go for. Clan engrams going into Warmind were removed and disappeared. Clan engrams from the week before Forsaken were not removed, so it's a toss-up of whether they will be removed or not. The Ace of Spades and Luna's Howl replicas at the Bungie store will also no longer be available for purchase. And lastly, clear out your vault. If you're having trouble with space now, you'll definitely have trouble in the new DLC. Cheese forever, Guardian.